that baseness comes with giving them a culture, giving them an identity, giving them rules, giving them, you know, inspiration that's not the norm, which is why I was highlighting LeBron. Like what LeBron was doing, that's not the norm. It is not the norm True. for a father to take care of his son in the public capacity, in a righteous capacity. Like he's great. He's like the greatest father. Right now, LeBron James is like the greatest father ever for what he did for his son. In the time where most fathers are not doing that for their sons. For me, looking at LeBron, that's better than any championship he's ever won on the face of the planet because he championed the value of a father to a son. And that's what we need because these sons is the ones that's coming up and looking up and needing guidance and told black men ain't shit is coming throughout the fucking walls. <laughs> I think the greatest thing that out of everything I heard tonight, and I guess we can end it that way. Right. What you heard tonight. Out of everything I heard tonight, that was the greatest thing I heard. Tonight. Yeah, like like when that's... you said that, all I could do was sit up here. Like I'm cheering. Yeah, like, I'm listening to you. Like I didn't think of it the way you thought of it. Yeah, this is fatherhood, and every man should stand up and. I couldn't wait for him to complete that shit, man. I couldn't. It was like beautiful shit, man. Like just waiting and you know making sure he got with the team, make sure he played with the team. He went as a free agent just in case they didn't sign that nigga. Yes. So he did. This is this how cold LeBron had. was. This how cold Le, Le, LeBron declared his free agency. And that's telling the Lakers, if y'all motherfuckers don't draft him and he go to the Raptors, I might I'm playing the for the fucking Raptors. That's how important his fucking son was, man. Now imagine father saying, my son got to be that important. I got to instill this life into my son because my son is going to come in after me as, as when you got sons, you could die. Well, I don't mean like in a literal sense, but now when my when I had my, listen, I got three, I had three girls before I had my two boys. I got my oldest is like 20 something years old. I didn't feel like I could die till my sons was born. When they was born, I'm like, all right, I'm good. Now I, I could die. It's now they're going to come up after me because I got a rep, I got a name now. And I could raise and train them motherfuckers up, man. That's the greatest shit. That's cold. LeBron just added to that shit, man. Man, that's that's how I feel it, man. Yeah, fathers matter. If I if I could yeah, say yeah. and what you're saying is so right. And even how you brought how this society will uplift the Wayne Wade and what he's doing.